Audi is rolling out its fourth generation A8 and breaking with quite a few traditions. An active driver? No need, at least not in certain situations like traffic jams. It's also thrown away the key. Test driver Jens Stratmann says it's often the attention to details that makes a car so interesting. We're all familiar with the electronic key fobs for locking and unlocking the car and starting the engine. Those are being replaced by smartphones. Other people can use it too, your partner, your children, and in the future, even delivery services, which can simply put whatever you've ordered into the trunk of the car. The new A8 also has more than 40 different assistance systems on board, and four systems supply them with information. Radar sensors, a front camera, ultrasound sensors, and a laser scanner allow the car to get a full picture of its surroundings. All the combustion engines are supported by electric drivetrains. A belt-driven starter generator is part of the standard mild hybrid system. At the rear, there's more to discover than just the snazzy lighting design. Jens explains that the naming strategy is new. This is the 55 TFSI Quattro with a 3-liter V6 engine. It's a gasoline-driven car with 340 horsepower. But with hybridization or electromobility, Audi is no longer putting the engine size on the car. The numbers do still indicate the vehicle's performance. Smaller numbers represent lower, larger numbers greater performance. That all goes back to the Chinese market, where this numbering has already been introduced. There's a choice between a 210 kilowatt diesel model and a 250 kilowatt strong gasoline model, which we tested. Thanks to the mild hybrid technology, fuel consumption has been reduced by 0.7 liters per 100 kilometers. At speeds between 55 and 160 kilometers per hour, the car is able to coast with the engine switched off, driving emissions free for 40 seconds at a time. Jens finds that, despite the Audi A8's considerable length, it handles well on winding roads. You barely notice how long the car is, thanks to the dynamic all-wheel steering. That allows the steering angles on the front and rear axles of the 5.17-meter vehicle to be set individually. In addition, the body sits on an intelligent active chassis. Along with the pre-sense 360-degree system, that enhances passive safety like this. <laughs> Jens is impressed. He calls it a benchmark for the new Audi A8. In case of a collision, the vehicle raises itself up by 80 millimeters before impact. The headrests are adjusted and the seat belts tightened. That's certainly an innovation in safety. The sensors detect every movement around the car. The A8 has its watchful eye on more vulnerable road users, too. Jens explains that another highlight among the assistant systems is one that prevents you from opening the door when a bike rider is approaching from behind. The feature is on all the doors, which is likely to appeal to parents. The car can even see around corners. The intersection assistant senses vehicles approaching from the side long before they appear in the driver's field of view. The bike rider is shown in advance in the display, and the car stops if the driver doesn't react. With all that tech, the A8 sets new standards in active and passive safety, protecting everyone moving near it. Jan says this premium luxury sedan is really spacious, including in the trunk. He's impressed by all the assistance systems and hopes that many of them are installed in Audi's other ranges. The A8 starts at 90,000 euros in Germany. An additional 3,500 euros gets a longer wheelbase. And next year, the mild hybrid models are to be joined by a plug-in hybrid. <laughs>